point of view cameras is a new business for us and at the IBC booth we have the Dream Chip POV camera Atom Mini. I would guess it's one of the world's smallest POV cameras you'll find and it's right there. So the camera is controlled by our RCP, the universal RCP that you must have seen a few times. Uh, it is right here. Uh, it's hooked up uh, next to. Um, this one is controlling the Amira. This is controlling a Blackmagic camera. And this one is controlling the Dream Chip Atom Mini camera, Atom One Mini. Now, um, we have access to all settings in that camera. That means red, green, blue, gain. And we have uh, control over the red, uh, black levels. We have. Uh, various filters that we can adjust. We have um, functions like flare and um, master, SDI white, stuff like that. Uh, various LUTs we can uh, load and set. Um, essentially, all the features that this camera gives you. Again, that's the cool point about the RCPs is that they are so flexible that any feature that we implement in our protocol, we can map it onto buttons and knobs and have control over it on a unit that could have been used for a different camera yesterday. So the RCP from Skyho is a really good investment because they will most likely support cameras now and in the future and uh, be useful uh, even when you change your infrastructure on that side. Now, there's one thing I want to point out for a POV camera, and that is that often they do not have an Ethernet interface. Like the Amira, for instance, has direct Ethernet connection. Other cameras nowadays, they come with either a Wi-Fi link or they have Ethernet connectors on them so we can uh, work with them directly. But these cameras, they have um, serial interfaces. As that, that's not going to get uh, go away for a while because they are so small. So an R is a 485 connection, like in this case, is most likely uh, going to be found for many years on these cameras. So if we, we are talking about Dream Chip camera, Marshall POV cameras, they would be uh, managed the same way. And that is through a converter box. So somewhere where you have these cameras hooked up, maybe you have like 30 of these cameras distributed in a building or something, and they can be daisy chained in terms of the signal, the RS-485. So this box essentially converts from Ethernet commands over to RS-485 commands on this wire. And that in turn goes into the camera and signals can flow forth and back between the cameras and the RCPs. So that methodology is how we approach controlling serially controlled devices, including Visca cameras, for instance, using a converter box so you can keep a clean IP-based infrastructure um, for, for the rest of the installation.